capitalization structure in our previous video we discussed about working capital and capital position in detail in this video we are going to discuss about capitalization structure the capital structure is the composition of long term liability specific short term liabilities common equity and preferred equity which will funds a business to uses for its operation and growth which is also known as weighted average cost of capital by looking at the balance sheet we can confirm whether the company capital structure is good or not so as an investor you need to understand the capitalization structure before investing in the stock high leverage capital structure sometimes the company allocates their capital by issuing more long term debt which is bond instead of more equity the reason is because the cost of capital is low which means the company only pay the promised fixed interest but in case if company offers more equity to make more capital the existing investor has to share their profits and rights so their value and return will reduce for an example if company has 100 dollar asset and 35 dollar of them from equity and 65 dollar from bond then this is considered to be high leverage capital structure low leverage capital structure if the same company allocate the capital by 70 dollar stock and 30 dollar bond then this is considered as low leverage capital structure the reason is low leverage is because the cost of capital is high which means the return of the investment will reduce for the company because the company has to share their profit to their shareholders equity investors take more risk as they only receive the residual value after debt investor have been repaid in exchange for this risk equity investor accept a high rate of return so the cost of equity is greater than the debt the optimal capital structure of the business the optimal capital structure is a proportion of debt and equity that results in the lowest weighted average cost of capital for the company debt is a cheaper source of financing as compared to equity Companies can benefit from their debt by expensing the interest payment made on existing debt and thereby reducing the company's taxable income. So these reduction in tax liabilities are known as tax shield. At the same time, company with lot of debt adding new debt will increase its risk of default, inability to meet its financial obligation. High default risk may also drive the cost of equity up because shareholders will might also expect a premium for taking an additional risk the bottom line equity financing may offer an easier way to raise a large amount of capital especially if the company does not have extensive credit established with lenders however for some companies equity financing may not be a good option as it will reduce the control of current shareholders over the business